Hi students, today we are going to discuss about the digital principles and system design course. In digital principle and system design course, you are going to study logic gates and Boolean algebra, combinational logic circuits, and these are the building blocks for the any digital system why you need to understand the digital system digital electronics are essential to understand design and the working of consumer and as well as the industrial industrial electronics not only that it is uh, very useful in communications computers security and military equipments Digital electronics includes many applications in the real life. So that why the digital principle and system design course is uh, very much essential for E and I engineers. Students, now we are going to uh, see the what are the contents available in this course. The course code is 20EI401. And course name is Digital Principles and uh, System Design. It is a three credit course. So the lecture hour will be three. Next, the objectives of this course. First objective is to design digital circuits using simplified Boolean functions. Next, to analyze and design combinational circuits. Next, to analyze and design synchronous and asynchronous sequential circuits next to understand programmable logic devices next to write hardware description language code for combinational and sequential circuits the combinational circuits is defined as time independent circuits which do not depends upon the previous input to the generate any output that is a combinational circuits and uh, the basic thing is uh, the Boolean algebra and uh, logic gates. In the unit on we are going to study the Boolean algebra and logic gates. Under this uh, unit one, uh, we are going to study the review of number systems, arithmetic operations, binary codes, Boolean algebra and rules, Boolean functions, canonical and uh, standard forms, Simplification of Boolean functions using Carnap map, basic logic gates, universal gates like uh, NAND gate and NOR gate, and their uh, conversions. Next part is the combinational logic. This is uh, coming under second unit. So, in the combinational logic circuits, as I told earlier, the output is depends upon only the current state of the input. In this, uh, we are going to study analysis and design processes, circuit for arithmetic operations like uh, full adder, carry look, get adder, binary adder, adder and subtractor, binary multiplier, comparator, code converters, decoders, encoders, multiplexers and demultiplexers. Then introduction to hardware description language, hardware description language models of combinational circuits. The third unit is, uh, is meant for synchronous sequential logic. There are two types of uh, sequential circuits. A sequential circuit whose output behavior depends on input at a discrete time is called the synchronous sequential circuit. Synchronous sequential circuit use clock pulse in the input of memory elements are called clock sequencer. So in the theory, we are going to study detail. Uh, in the unit three, sequential circuits, you are going to study the fundamental things, uh, flip-flops, triggering, then types, conversions, excitation tables, analysis of clocked sequential circuits, state reduction, uh, and assignment, shift registers, then counters. Next, 
high definition description language uh, models of sequential circuits these are all are coming under the unit 3 next unit 4 you will have the asynchronous sequential circuit here also we study the design of asynchronous sequential circuits reduction of the state and flow tables race free state assignment and hazards and different types and reduction these are coming under the unit 4 and unit 5 uh, it is exclusively for memory and programmable logic devices ram and rom random access memory read only memory memory decoding error detection and correction dynamic ram flash memory programmable logic devices programmable array logic programmable logic array sequential programmable devices cplt and field programmable gate array so these are coming under the uh, unit 5 next uh, course outcome as the course objective gives the overall view and the course outcomes uh, gives the uh, successful completion of this course uh, you can able to uh, first one is design digital circuits using simplified boolean functions second outcome is to analyze and design computational circuits third outcome is analyze and design synchronous sequential circuits fourth outcome will be analyze and design asynchronous sequential circuit fifth outcome will be interpret design using programmable logic devices and so for the final one the sixth outcome will be you can able to write high uh, hardware description language code for combination as sequential circuits so, so these are the textbooks uh, and after this uh, studying you can able to uh, do the many things in the digital and then uh, but uh, why we have to study this uh, what is the application of studying the this course day to day we use the mobile phones calculator digital computers all those things uh, working on the principle of digital electronics so in addition to that radios and communication devices signal generators smart card uh, cathode ray oscilloscope cro everything depends upon the works on depends upon the, the digital principle so this course is uh, very much essential to understand the all those things these are the reference books uh, and in addition to reference book i have given the some basic understanding website and the one is a boolean is the basic uh, very fundamental thing uh, boolean algebra and digital analysis there is a website uh, uh, java point uh, the link is given i can uh, go through the all the boolean uh, uh, algebra functions next logic gates truth tables all those things there will be a separate youtube video you can go through that this will uh, increase the your understandability of this course so while going to the before starting the our uh, first class it is only introduction uh, best you go through the this uh, website and as well as the this video and you will uh, have a lot of insight thank you students we see in the next presentation